it's Lori. I am here today to attempt uh, a stash video. I've tried this twice before and I either got interrupted constantly or it just got way, way, way too long. So I'm going to try uh, and do this quickly. I have almost 200 cloth pads um, in this Sterilite five drawer storage container. So it, um, in the interest of time, I'm not going to be giving a whole lot of details about each, each and every one of them. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free just to leave them uh, down below. So this has five drawers, but we're going to start up here. This is the accessory box that I keep on top. So it's got lots of goodies in it. <clears throat> Pardon me if you hear me coughing or clearing my throat or sniffling. I have a head cold and I've had one for off and on for the last two months, so nothing to be done about it. These are travel containers. I'm going to put peroxide and water mix in the squirt bottle and in the, um, or in, sorry, in the spray bottle and in the squirt bottle, I'm going to put a stain remover um, paste thing that I'm planning on making. These are going to also be for this stain remover paste as well as one of them is going to be for lube. Never underestimate the power of lube to help you get your menstrual cups in. These are my emergency instead cups. I keep these in my travel bags in case I need something on the go. This is the example one that I took out of the package. It's unused but I use it um, to show friends and family how they work. Because that's normally the first step into getting them to use a menstrual cup is to try these and if they like it then I can convince them to spend a little bit more money. Pad drying strap from Phoenix Rising Reusables is a little cup bag that I made and then more wet bags down in here. This is a travel bag with um, a couple of pads in it. We'll get into that later with the stash off my lunette box. This is an empty storage container. These are my two stain sticks uh, from the soap works they are amazing and they're huge um they're i they i think they're fairly comparable in size to fells napa so i've got my maluna large my lunette size one my anytime cup that i haven't tried yet size two the original ruby cup a china cheapie that i just wanted to buy to see what it, what the deal was with it my Diva Cup size 2, a Pussy Willow stain stick. I just added the little wrap to it. I find that it gets so slippery when they're wet, so I like to put a little cloth uh, cotton wrap on it. These are my pad wing extenders. They're mostly Yurtcraft ones, but I've got a couple others in there as well. And then extra uh, cup bags. So the first drawer contains my lights and liners just stacked in a row for easy accessibility. Two of my new sea sponge tampons that I haven't opened yet. A pad wrapper. These are both pad wrappers. Uh, these are all of my interlabial, interlabial pads. Uh, this is my favorite wet bag. It just hangs I made it myself. It hangs um, on my toilet roll dispenser in the bathroom. If I can find the picture of it, I'll insert it now. Um, it is, I think it's 8 inches by 11 inches, 10 inches. Uh, it's a great size. And it's a vinyl, a uh, custom printed vinyl. And then I've got a few more different size wet bags in there. Next drawer, <clears throat> sorry, I kind of call it my favorite drawer. Um, it's just more so that I have a lot of pads from these two makers. They are both in my top five favorite makers, but I have a lot of them so they kind of fit their own drawer well. These are all fig leaves pads up to here and down this way. And then this side is all hoo-hoo rags and they're stacked there. This is my moderate drawer. These uh, drawers are stacked in rows all the way down. It's pretty easy for me just to put my hands in here and flick through them to find the one that I want. Um, they're sorted by style of pads, so the wrap styles, and these are like all of the Annie Bell styles, the straight kind of their styles. These are more of the curved styles. 
Uh, this is the, the more square and long style and the exposed core rounded styles. And I think these are about 15 or so deep, each of them. I have mostly moderates. Well, or I have more moderates than any other uh, size or style. These are my heavies. So again, sorted by type and they go down. And then the last drawer are my overnights. So a lot of these are yurt craft because that's my favorite pad to wear overnight. Either the 14.5 or the 16 inch. So that is my storage system for my rumps. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take them out probably drawer by drawer and uh, give you a little bit more of a look at them. Okay, ladies, really quickly. First, uh, these are items that I do not keep in my storage uh, tower. So these two bags are travel bags. And then I also have these items which are kept in the drawer in my bathroom. Um, when I'm on uh, my cycle, I have a dedicated drawer in my washroom where I put 10 to 15, a mix of 10 to 15 pads that I know that I'm going to want to use throughout um, this, the days, and I'll pick through those ones. Um, and then these ones are just extras that I keep in there for, you know, most of them are liners. So if I'm ovulating and I'd like to just throw in a liner, or if I unexpectedly stop, start spotting, I do have a few pads in there that can be used. And then I have my sea sponge tampons there. These are the ones that are opened. Uh, there are five of them there. Uh, three of those were from Jade and Pearl and the other two uh, were purchased at my local drugstore. And then I've got my interlabial pads. Um, these are the first cloth pads that I ever made. They are flannel topped, flannel backed, and uh, they still look amazing. I still use them regularly. I absolutely love them. All the other ones I made over five years ago um, are now gone because they've deteriorated, but these ones still look fantastic and still function very well. And then these are just some liners uh, that I made myself. And then one actual pad. This is suede cloth topped and Winpro backed again that I made myself. And they just live in my washroom. Now this is my purse, like the one I presently use my purse, my wet bag. I have got a 14 inch pad from um, Cloth Junkies and then a uh, 11 inch one that I made myself in there and I also have an instead emergency cup in case I start my cycle unexpectedly. Normally I start first thing in the morning uh, so it doesn't happen very often so these really don't get used but you never know when you might need one. And then these uh, live in my car. This is a light pad but it's got um, PUL in it from EcoL by Netta. Uh, this lives in my car in case I need it because it can be used even as a heavy on a heavy day as long as you don't use it beyond its absorbency. And then just a little liner that I made myself. So that is it for items that are not stored in my storage container. Okay, so in the interest of time, I'm going to keep some of these in the drawer. So this is drawer number one, the top drawer. I've got a liner from Mama Cloth. Uh, that's eight inches. These are all nine and 10 inch lights and liners that I made myself. This is an eight inch uh, wicking jersey top from Panty Candy. This is an 8.5 from Cotton Candy Eco Cloth, a light. These are all lights, okay? So I'm not gonna say it every time. Eight and a half from Yurt Craft. Nine inch from Hidden Glen. Uh, 9.25 inch from Yurt Craft. This is one that I made myself. This one's actually more of a moderate um, because of the length though, I use it as a light, so it's a 10. 10 and a half inch ish. This is an 11 inch from Nighttime Skies and Fireflies. It's a light. 
this. These next two are 11 inch uh, novel reds. They're both moderate. This is the Ninja pad and this is the Galaxy print, uh, but I use them as lights because of how slender they are. Again, one I made myself. It's an 11 inch cotton top. These two are 10 inch um, moderates, but I use them as lights from Annabelle's Essentials. This is a 11 inch, I believe, moderate from a Mila pads. Well, I think it's in a mo it's it's in a moderate. It's the where are you? It's the Athene. I just loved the print on this. This is an 11 inch from Mama Cloth. Another 11 inch. Sorry, from Mama Cloth. This is a 10.25 inch from Yurt Craft. And I think this is 10 inches as well. Yep. This is a 10 inch from my bare bottom. It's uh, knit topped. All of these have been cotton with the exception of the uh, suede cloth top ninja pad from Novel Red. So this is another cotton top light that I made myself. It's a matching one. This is a liner, not a light. Uh, this is a light that I made myself. Another light that I made myself. These next three are from Royal May's Fluff. They are, these two are knit topped 11 inch lights and this is a cotton topped uh, 11 inch light. This is actually a heavy pad but with the length, again, I use it as a light. Uh, it is from Cotton Candy Eco Cloth and it's 10 inches. And this is my free Pimps Party in My Pants liner. It's the Luxe liner uh, with that really loud material on the back. To be honest, I've used this once. Um, it didn't leak or anything. It's super thin, but it's just not really for me. So that is my drawer of light pads and liners. Okay, so the next drawer are my fig leaves pads and my hoo hoo rags. So again, in the interest of time, I'm gonna show you these really quickly. So these are all 12 inch pads. This one is a light. And then I've got uh, moderate to heavy, moderate to heavy. They're all the same. I love this one, Amethyst Crystals. The Greatly Sought After S'mores Pad, which is actually one of the first ones I got, surprisingly. And then my only flannel Fig Leaves Pad. Let me move so that I'm in a better position for the camera. And then these two are eight inch lights and two 10 inch moderates. I then have my hoo hoo rags. So these are 12 inch Sunday Sunday pads. Uh, if you've seen my what I wore this month videos, you've likely seen these. So this is my coffee Sunday, my donut Sunday, and my cookie Sunday. I'm after a cupcake Sunday, hopefully one day. That rhymed. Okay. So these are my 14 inch heavy curvy style hoo hoo rags. This is my very favorite pad in my collection. I love my Frida pad. And then we've got uh, Casper the Friendly Ghost. This is my only hoo hoo rags liner. It's 10 inches and it's corduroy backed. And then I've got a moderate. Um, I think this is. Uh, actually, this is 9 inches, I believe, and this is 10 inches. <clears throat> 10 inch moderate in a lovely Reading Girl vintage fabric. Another 10 inch moderate. These, uh, this one is a 12 inch. These are all her street style. And then I have a 13 inch uh, moderate, another 13 inch moderate and then three 13 inch heavies. This one, it's really cute. 
All right, so that's it for the second drawer.